behalf of Arco Aviation Private Limited. Spread love everywhere where you go. Let your love happen toward others. I'll welcome. It's an honor to welcome our chief guest Anupurna Moga to be the tell the about the topic of important of soft skill and networking career towards our students and all the participants who have gathered here. The session to is over to you, ma'am. Ah, uh, sure. Ah, uh, hi. Ah, uh, first of all, ah, uh, if I can get to know that uh, if people can write in the chat box about what they do uh, currently about soft skills. and how many of them have actually understood or have been you know practicing networking for a long time if you guys can just write it in the chat box it would be great so uh, starting with the the topic okay how soft skills and networking are very important for a successful career right uh, so there is a very a lot of misconceptions about soft skills currently right uh, in the current scenario even especially in india okay that soft skills is only about speaking english uh that's not what it is uh soft skills are essentially called life skills because uh they don't only help an individual professionally but they also help an individual uh in his or her personal and interpersonal relations so having a uh, soft skills can actually transform you as a person both at your workplace and in your personal relationships with people uh so that's why essentially they are very important and uh, as you know in the current scenario uh even covid has taught us that emotional stability and uh, having resilience is more important than anything else right uh so uh, hard skills are essential skills where you will learn uh, and you know, evolve over time but these skills are not the kind which you can learn in one or two days or which you can imbibe these skills take a lot of time okay you need to practice this in your life you need to practice this over time it takes if you start early it gets easier to learn it and you as you go and as you you know grow uh you are able to understand these skills and imbibe them in your life better so uh i would want to make this session more interactive so if any students have any queries till now about uh, what i've spoken they can you know uh, unmute and uh, uh pose the question right whenever they want uh, so uh, again uh, starting with which soft skills are there uh, soft skills essentially uh, that we target at mentor box are communication skills again even in communication skills uh, uh, people have this misconception that speaking english is good communication no if you have seen the politicians of our country each one of them is a good communicator but each one of them speaks in their own language whether it's hindu hindi whether it's telugu or whether it's tamil right but they are able to effectively communicate to the audience to the people what they want to say that is effective communication and effective communication is needed especially in a professional uh, sphere especially in your industry that is the aviation industry according to the skill survey 90% of uh, you know uh, the uh, people who recruit aviation students essentially see that soft skills are there in them so it's it's of higher importance uh at uh, a service based level because see we are in a service industry and we are basically going to be giving uh, a customer some particular information or we are going to help him right or her uh and soft skills are essentially required over there when we manage a team even in that we need so uh without these skills uh basically uh in an industry which is service based it's very difficult to actually grow uh so starting again with the communication skills the communication skills uh, help us essentially uh, in communicating with our team so uh, i have worked in a couple of organizations right starting from you know a company with only 50 employees till around the 500 to 1000 employees and you know i've transitioned this way and uh, i was very picky about uh, how i worked in different workplaces because i really wanted to understand that how uh, people grow right so uh, what happens is that that uh, in most companies which i was positioned as as an employee before i started mentor box 
uh, I saw that that the managers were not able to manage the people uh, because uh, they they uh, essentially didn't understand the problems or didn't value the problems of the employees and employees over time you know they left the company and uh, they were not happy so this is what is happening currently in most companies they're not able to retain employees that's because their managers have a very uh, less level of eq coming to our second skill that is emotional intelligence uh, which is also a very important soft skill and is required and why emotional intelligence is required so what is emotional intelligence uh, can anyone uh, of you write if anyone has an idea in the chat box about emotional intelligence uh, i mean i would be happy if someone can so anyhow coming back to the point so what is emotional intelligence so uh, emotional intelligence is being able to understand uh, the other person and create uh, that uh, bridge or uh, that uh, gap uh, and help and understand that both the person's emotions and the uh, objectives of you know building uh, your product or delivering your project are met uh, so essentially you have to build a wrapper right a connect with the individual uh, uh doctrinism and you know being very uh, uh you know uh, being very uh, strict is not what is going to work now in the scenario currently in the, the scenario is that employees are working from home okay so uh, you cannot force them they're not in office or dictate them to do anything they will only reach up to you if you are actually a good manager so emotional intelligence is extremely important for managers and also to be able to understand see, suppose i am uh, meeting abc people right uh, suppose i meet a person i know i have to know that this person is shy so i have to interact with him or her in this way if i meet b person and i know this person is an extrovert i know i have to interact with him or her in that way so understanding people understanding how to connect with them is a very important skill and that comes to uh, emotional intelligence we have networking so if you have high eq you will be a very good networker by default so what is networking so networking was introduced as a subject uh, in the stanford university from 2018 onwards and people do an mba in networking as well so why uh, essentially it was introduced was because uh, people understood the need that uh, creating a network or rapport with people and being able to leverage that is essentially very important uh, you know and how you can do that if you don't have an high eq if you don't know how to converse with people if you don't know how to create an impact or an impression you will never be able to create a network and if you create one network then that person has his or her own network you can leverage that network similarly it creates a pyramid so your network keeps growing and that is the essential concept of networking and learning that and being able to implement that is going to really change your life because at the end of the day when you're in a business okay uh, you have to make clients right so for that networking is going to help uh, if you are uh, again a uh, you know person finding a job if you have a very good network then you can you know get your profile uh, forwarded right and uh, similarly uh, if you are uh, from any industry network is, is going to help you uh, always so uh, networking is again the third skill then uh, fourth coming to a uh, personality right uh, so how a personality is going to help you like uh, i would say that this if you know uh, you would have uh, met 10 people in your life there was all and you know in your school there, there was always this one person who would stand out reason being he was a good sport sports person he was a good speaker etc etc and people used to look up to that person so people take take up or uh, people who have good personality are by in it by themselves you know seen as leaders by other people so you just become a leader by yourself because your personality is good and hence developing a personality from an early age is very important because it's going to help you uh, tremendously later because uh, then you will be able to take leadership positions very easily because people will see you as a leader by default because of the personality or the aura that you have uh, and uh, 
maximum people feel in that i mean if you have seen most of the ceos and cto's they actually go through a soft skills training you know people uh, spend around you know close to uh, 3 lakhs to 1 cr uh, in training that their uh, uh, c suite executives you know in large companies uh reason being that you know they have to uh, represent an audience they have to go in front and as being from an aviation industry you have to do that on a daily basis so how to be able to uh, project yourself how to be able to have that uh, personality and that edge you know and grow and uh, only when you are able to do that uh, you'll be able to succeed in life in the end success is not about only yourself it's about growing with the people you hire and uh, uh that's essentially very important so that comes to personality development uh then uh, we have our next skill which is negotiation skills so negotiation skills are extremely important especially if you are going into business or into consulting reason being that uh, in businesses uh, whenever you you know people have to sign agreements or even when you're negotiating at in any situation you need to be able to know where to set the bar what are the best practices how to uh, essentially uh, have that knack to present yourself in a right way and also get what you want so that is essentially negotiating negotiating uh, to create uh, and uh, get the best bet uh, is something which is very important and again uh, which consultants and especially people who are from business background so who want to build a business is essentially required uh, the next skill is decision making so decision making is a skill which uh, students uh, specially require uh, right from school because uh, you know we have to make decisions from which stream we choose to uh, which uh, a school or college we go to whether we want to go for mba or not most of the we have done we did our market research for mentor box and we came to know that most students don't do well in life because they don't understand their own self they don't know their own potential right so they so uh, we met a lot of students they were like uh, i asked them there was this lady she was doing her bba i asked her so okay so what is uh, in our mentorship one on one mentorship asked her so what do you want to do ahead in life so she said that i'm a, i'm very confused but i'm preparing for cfa i'm preparing for mba in finance uh, uh, and i'm also going to go for a job so so she she was uh, and and i'm thinking of going abroad also maybe for mba so i am not really sure so people are not at all sure and don't have uh, uh, anything in mind so uh, essentially if you have if you run after 10 things you will never be able to reach even one point right so uh, this is lacking uh, across students uh, across the board right uh, even young professionals don't know you know it, it takes around till age of 28 to 29 when you become matured in your show and by the time the time of growth is gone so being able to make decisions at a very uh, early stage and being able to understand how decisions are made uh, what are the best practices uh, is again essentially a very important soft skill how we teach it uh, we have a particular curriculum in place other than that we have our own you know ai and data science backed algorithms which help you over time to you know understand decisions and make the right decisions over time so making decisions is again a very important skill uh, which is going to uh, help you in the long run because every day you make a decision right so coming to that then next is conflict management so this is essentially very very important for the aviation industry people because uh whether it's conflict with customers whether it's conflict with teams you have to be able to set the bar uh, be able to uh, you know come back so what i see in people is that whenever they come across a conflict they get into anger and uh, you know because of that they lose out on lot thing not only the not only the individual but the company also does so being able to manage conflicts being able to you know um, get across your uh, point to the customer or to your team in a way that does not uh, affect the other individual and get your work done comes under conflict management and be able to be have the resilience to uh, basically fall back from whatever happened you know uh, if in in the uh, past or in the future right so you have to be able to you know keep the relation with your client no matter what conflicts are happening so that comes under conflict management and uh, 
essentially through this course you will uh, you will learn uh, how to deal with conflict and uh, if you are able to deal with conflicts in life then life is going to be a cake walk for you professionally or personally right so yeah that that's conflict management then uh, international relations uh, so uh, and uh, communication right uh, uh, with respect to that so uh, essentially uh, when you have to deal with people from different countries right uh, you have to basically understand their culture you have to understand how they speak how they behave and uh, uh, basically uh, create a rapport with them right and uh, international relations is an extremely important skill especially if you have clients from foreign countries or your traveling uh, across the board and you have to meet people so uh, uh, so what is the basically the thing in international relations is that people are not able to uh, reach you know uh, be able to build a rapport with others because they don't understand people from different cultures but to be able to understand them you need to understand their culture so we basically teach you the different cultures having a brief synopsis of their history uh, having an idea about their dialect uh, these all things uh, can un- make you you know uh, really uh, have a good conversation with them and uh, in short uh, create the best uh, rapport and uh, help you grow as an individual so that's international relations uh, then stress management right uh, so this is a very important topic and uh, something especially covid has taught us right so people are not able to manage this stress okay and uh, the reason behind this is that is their own self so uh, self motivating being able to have a positive outlook is how what we teach um, essentially in stress management and uh, we are able to basically make you grow and understand so this again is a part of emotional intelligence being able to you know manage your stress but there are some key skills which you know you can learn and be able to manage your stress and deal with it in the long run so uh, we give you a certain set of practices along with uh, something you can uh, learn over time and some video lectures which can help you uh, along with live sessions so stress management is another thing then lastly we come to uh, resilience right so what is resilience uh, resilience is being able to uh, uh, come back from any situation like covid has happened okay and uh, you are a person who suffered from covid now you have to after you are okay right uh, this this should not be a setback for you a resilient person will never take anything as a setback he or she will be able to rebound back and get back to work being resilient is very important in your professional front because you're going to be having a lot of setbacks anywhere right whether it's in aviation whether it's in software whether it's in it's in product or whether it's in business you're going to lose something you might some days will be bad so you have to just get over it be resilient and bounce back so but how do you do that how do you create that mindset or that outlook is what we teach and resilience is extre- an extremely important uh, skill which people which people didn't value uh, but uh, during the covid crisis they actually understood that it's very important next is image uh, consulting so how to dress and behave according to the situation so uh, that is the next skill uh, so how to project your image according to the situation so uh, there are different colors or uh, different uh, uh, you know ways your gestures or how you move or how you speak uh, project yourself in front of an audience uh, so uh, essentially uh, that is very important for an individual to uh, project the right image right so we teach that also that if you are going to a corporate event how do you have to dress up if you are going to and which colors you should wear so uh, like currently i am wearing red okay so uh, red is a fairy color uh, as in it uh, projects someone who is in command so uh, if you want to go to a meeting in which you want to be commanding so you should always wear red color right uh, your gestures your body language how you act and behave you can actually learn all this okay 
it's not like that you're born with something and uh, gone you can learn each skill you can learn how to project yourself in the right way in the right situation and thus create a positive impact for yourself and grow so these are essentially the soft skills and i have also given you the reason why they are important and uh, yeah so i'm open to questions now and that uh thank you himangi so uh, currently i'm open to questions so if anyone has some before you know i uh, just i'll give you a short synopsis what we do at mentor box to our video uh yeah and you guys can just write it in your chat box open to questions now and uh, i can just tell you a little about our program okay so uh, himangi is asking that how can interns condition themselves for a resilient mindset uh, so uh, basically self conditioning is something that you understand over time right so for that first of all you have to be very headstrong as an individual right to be resilient to be able to uh, come back a strong mindset is what is required and to build a strong mindset you need time and mentorship and right coaching right so uh, essentially uh, till now i was talking about the topic so now i'll come to mentor box right uh, uh right what we do uh, yeah okay himang any book or content that you would like to recommend i would say that uh, from a coaching perspective uh, i follow my coach mr david metzler so um, if you would have you know gone to any of his sessions or you know any of his videos are open in streaming so uh, every, uh, every logic that he every, you know every lesson that he gives in his videos has a logic and uh, he is able to make you understand exactly why you need to do this right uh, he has talked about uh, uh capitalism in a humane way right uh, wherein uh, you humanely and having a very uh, uh soft approach are able to capitalize and build so uh, there are very few individuals who have done it that way most have been harsh and have you know been able to lead a team we have heard about everyone you know stealing ideas etc so humane capitalism is something only very few people have uh, addressed and used and uh, david metzler is one of them so i would recommend uh, seeing his videos right uh, okay and uh, coming to uh, a mentor box right so what mentor box does so mentor box is essentially targeting three things that is uh, mentorship okay strategic coaching and uh, soft skills training why is it important mentorship mentorship is important in a very long run okay you need to know uh, uh, as a person like suppose i am learning c++ okay uh, and i don't know anything about it i need to create a plan for myself and how to do it but how will i do that if uh, i have no one to look up to so a mentor can be a friend also right it can be a senior but essentially we are giving you industry mentors who are uh, who have been into uh, the industry for a long period of time and who we are now teaching some basic essential so our mentors uh, are having uh, from 5 to you know 25 30 years of experience in their respective fields and they help you understand that exactly how to reach a particular point from where you are right uh, by leveraging their experience so they mentor you on interview skills they mentor you on how exactly you should learn a language how to prepare to get into a particular position or also if you just want to know about the field right and uh, that we are strategic coaching so this is where resilience in all comes right uh, so what is resilience so resilience can be learned if you have a strategic coach when what is strategic coaching strategic coaching means that i am anupurna in the next 5 years i want to have my business built till this point okay so now how do i do it a strategic coach will exactly tell me that in the first year 
in the first three months i have to do this reach this he's he will be with me from the point help me reach that goal those my he will create those milestones for me and how he'll create these milestones is because he's already done that he's already reached where i am and he's helping me to reach that place so creating a strategy or a, a or a plan to do that and uh, guiding you throughout the way is going to help uh, reach that point and uh, your strategic coach is going to be a shoulder and that's how you're going to be resilient because you know that you have someone to look up to or look back to when you are confused or you don't know what to do so a uh, strategic coaching is essentially that strategic coaching does not teach you any skill technical skills or any other skills uh, that's a part of mentorship it only teaches you the right way or the right methodology along with the how to stay motivated and reach your goals on time uh thirdly uh, we are doing soft skills training sessions uh, which that's why i had you know talked about the essential soft skills and uh, uh we have done our surveys and researched across the fields and most of the students uh, are not uh, doing well uh, or are not able to you know crack interviews not because they don't have the knowledge but they are not able to deliver the knowledge right right they they have made a resume but they have not drafted in the right way they give an interview but they don't see the interviewer is not god he doesn't know what's working in your mind okay he doesn't know uh, that uh, you know something you have to tell the person what you know so being a communicator is going to help you everywhere right so uh, most people they know it but they're not able to communicate it they're not able to write it down so uh, so that, that is where they lose out right and uh, i've seen a lot of people they're very knowledgeable but uh, i've seen uh, people at leadership positions who are very less knowledgeable than by for them only because they lack these skills which is the soft skills right because they're not good communicators they're not good presenters and they lose out because of that and uh, if you don't want that for yourself i would say take soft skills training right from day one uh if you want to go for our platform uh, i'm more than uh, happy you know for that but uh this time giving it as an advice that you know it's very necessary uh to go for that so yeah shweta uh yeah uh yeah how mba can improve the communication skills see uh mba is uh not going to improve your communication skills right see mba and such has a good network okay so mba colleges basically make you go through a particular training process they give you a lot of exposure and that is why uh, you are able to you know uh, become uh, better than before uh, but uh, it does not mean that going through an mba is going to improve your communication skills uh, right uh, communication skills again cannot be improved in one day it takes a lot of time i started uh, you know uh, practicing communication and, and i also have gone through a program to become a good communicator when i was in 9th uh, grade okay and now i am uh, around 26 so uh, it took me a lot of time it took me around 6 years to become a good communicator so uh, essentially that's important it's just like uh, it's just like any subject you need to practice it with someone uh, you need to take feedback and you need to go to a structured program wherein finally you will be able to see that you have uh, you know started from level 0 and now reached a point where you can uh, deliver or uh, content to even uh, an audience of 200 to 500 people and you don't feel shy about it right so so that's what it is so an mba can help in you know uh, uh, you know grooming your personality because of the exposure and maybe increasing your communication skills but it's not something that is effectively going to only increase your communication skills so uh, that's not what it is for uh, right so that's that network it can actually increase your network a lot but so uh, any other questions anyone has before you know i just uh, uh, jot down our website and also you know give you a short overview of what we do uh, anyone can you know put down their question yeah i guess no anpurna i think you have missed one question okay which one uh, anupama asked one question can you see one question from anupama 
Um, how to improve networking, uh, how LinkedIn okay, is no, important. Okay, I didn't see that. Okay, okay. I just saw it. How to improve uh, networking, how LinkedIn is important. Uh, okay, so uh, essentially uh, there is a particular, uh, you know, for improving your networking skills, it's not a one-day process, okay? First, you have to start with building your profile uh, on LinkedIn uh, or any other platform, whichever you choose. You know, uh, we have something called influencer marketing where, you know, so how do people become influencers? It's only through networking, right? So uh, building a profile, being able to uh, create uh, a particular uh, uh, value add to, uh, you know, creating content uh, and uh, reaching the right audience, uh, that's the way to improve networking, right? So LinkedIn is extremely important uh, because, uh, it's a professional network, firstly, and you 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 can reach anyone in the world through LinkedIn. Let me tell you, you know, you can even reach uh, uh, CEOs, CFOs of companies. You can reach anyone if you know how to do uh, networking properly. And that again boils down to communication. You need to know that when you write something to someone, how to write it. If you're writing something to a CXO, how do you write it? If you write something to an HR, how do you write it? Uh, Everything boils down to communication. So basically, you need to understand ki, ki in let me just tell it in Hindi that kisko kya bolna hai, right? How to basically essentially tell the person what what you should tell to the right person, and how then create that connect, right? And if you're able to do that, you can you will become a good networker by yourself. So everything boils down to communication and uh, being able to express yourself in the right way to the right person. And LinkedIn is a very good platform to network if you know how to network well, right? So learning networking is very important and you can learn it, you know, it's not like that, uh, but you have to learn it from someone who is a good networker because a good networker will know that how you can build a network over time. And if that person teaches you that, you can become a very good networker. So that is another skill. Uh, we had, a, 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 I think last to last month, we had a session on how to build a good LinkedIn profile and uh, all the people who attended it, they were really amazed about, you know, the session and they were like, uh, we didn't know that, you know, you can uh, do the uh, one of the mentors she had given the session. So uh, they were really amazed and uh, they actually saw an impact after, you know, they revamped the profile and went through the process that was predetermined, right? So, yeah, so that's essentially how it can help. Uh, yeah, so I think, uh, yeah. Uh, any other questions anyone has before uh, boil down to? Anything I missed? Uh, I think Nohi Mangi, then Shweta and uh, Anupama had given a question. So yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, so uh, I will just share our website again. Yeah. So this is the website, I'll just share screen also. Okay, uh, I hope you guys can see my screen. Yeah. So uh, we have basically conducted uh, sessions from very good mentors. Uh, we had David Metzler who I talked about again, right? Uh, who gave his top five success mantras. Then we had uh, Deepak Vyal sir, who is an advocate in Supreme Court of India. And uh, he gave his session on what type of career path can you navigate post your uh, law degree, right? And then we had Nicholas, who is who was a US dip diplomat and currently an entrepreneur who uh, gave a session on what does it take to be a successful so basically we are a networking platform where you know we connect you with the right mentor we are able to build a community around what you want to do we connect you for life projects and uh, help you grow your network internally so so essentially what happens is that we we all lose a lot of time when we go on linkedin right so when we go on linkedin uh, we uh, reach out to a lot of people, we ping them, most of them don't reply, many of them said we don't mentor you. So it's a lot of, lo it's a loss of time. So what we are doing is that we are creating a network of people who actually want to mentor you, right? And uh, uh, over time, give you a personal, and uh, give you give you a personal experience uh, through our platform. So that's what essentially we are trying to do. 
and uh, they're going to launch our app so these features will be on that we have been able to you know have around uh, 20 plus mentors and increasing uh, now we have 200 actually and then community members increasing and uh, also we 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 were featured you know at the global ed edtech startup awards uh, the semi-finals and a part of the pitch tree. so what we do is that that we are essentially targeting to mentor people once in mentorship sessions we're also going to start with strategic coaching soon soft skills and uh, group sessions so it group sessions are ad hoc wherein people you know come up to us and uh, talk to us about uh, uh, you know their group if, if you're a group of individuals or you're an organization so we conduct sessions for them and uh, you can become a mentor uh, we have a particular process so if any you have anyone in mind they can become a mentor with us so uh, essentially uh, networking with the right people is the need of the hour, right again you can network with anyone uh, on linkedin but what happens is that that linkedin is becoming more commercialized like facebook right and uh, so how do you uh, bridge that right so i you know i used to get a certain set of messages before on facebook which now i get on linkedin uh, you know random people uh, and all you know now with stories introduced uh, you know the professional networking platform that linkedin was uh, is slowly getting diminished over time so creating a mentorship platform is what our initiative was and uh, that's uh, what we have started with so if you would like to you know connect with me or enroll for any of our sessions you free to do so on our platform and also i'm reachable at uh, in for any emails right um and you know you can always connect with me on linkedin as well right just type and you'll find me in the first search result, right so uh thank you thank you guys and thank you for having me here shekhar i got yes sir we would like to propose a hearty vote of thanks to you, Anapuna Moga, for gracing today's webinar and delivering the important topic on importance of soft skills and networking for a successful career. I'm sure that all the participants have taken note of your suggestion and will initiate that further in their career. Lastly, we'll thank you again on behalf of whole Harco Aviation Private Limited team. Thank you so much, ma'am. It's an amazing session. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Rajeshwari. And thank you, Shekhar, for having me. Have a great day, guys. And be positive.